This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Hi, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another home edition of the Sunday Business Page. Our special guest today is Brian Scott, CEO of an Ambridge-based company called Pitmoss. Brian, welcome to the show. It's good to have you here. Hi, thanks for having us. We really appreciate being featured today. So what exactly is Pitmoss? Yeah, P-I-T-T, so Pit right? P-I-T-T. Correct. For Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Moss. So yeah, what we do is we make, um, we make potting soil and soil amendments out of all recycled fiber material, things like newspaper, other sorts of paper, cardboard, press board, things like that. So why would I want to use pit moss as opposed to peat moss? Yeah, so there's really uh, two really good reasons. The first one, uh, most people don't know how bad peat moss is for the environment. Almost every potting soil is made out of it. And when we dig up that peat from uh, peat mines, it ends up uh, giving us the same carbon emissions in one bag of soil as we would have by burning 22 pounds of coal. So what? it's really not great for the environment. Wait a minute. Uh, but, one bag of peat moss is equivalent to 22? It's Pardon? got the same carbon emissions in a two cubic foot bag of peat moss based soil. So most of the soils we buy has the same carbon emissions as burning 22 pounds of coal. It's really unbelievable. Most people really don't know that. No, so, indeed, indeed they don't. So you are offering an environmentally sound alternative to peat moss exactly. made right here in Pittsburgh. Yep, and not, not only is it environmentally sound, it also just works way better than peat-based products do. So our product holds water more, has better aeration, and is naturally biologically better for plants. So we always get bigger, healthier plants with less water and less fertilizer. So it's really uh, all around much better for your plants. So if I want to grow bigger tomatoes in my garden, I should be using pit moss and not peat moss or not just standard soil? Exactly. You should be either using the pit moss or you can blend our product with your field soil, with whatever you have at home. You can blend it as well. Brian, how hard is it to purchase pit moss? Can we get it at any store? Yeah, um, we are right now, we're in about 30 different garden centers. We like to say the best garden centers in Pittsburgh carry us, as well as a number of hardware stores. And you can also order online at our website at pitmoss.com. I did read something about this, and I, I say very quickly, I'm not a user, but I <laughs> saw that your product really is very good for growing marijuana. True? Uh, Actually, we just had a press release where we did a trial with one of the Pennsylvania medical cannabis growers, and they had a 12% yield increase using our product compared to the products that they were using before. So in their case, they plant about 180 plants per cycle, and they got the yield of over 200 plants by using our product instead. So you're not only environmentally sound, but you actually grow better. We really do. And we, we also help save water so you can water less. And we help control groundwater runoff because our product holds nutrients so much better, you don't have to fertilize as much. And then finally, uh, you're a really sort of a startup entrepreneurial company yet. So you don't have a whole lot of employees. Is that right? You have a plan yeah. in yep, we do have a factory here in Ambridge. We actually love the town of Ambridge. Everybody loves working here, eating here, hanging out in Ambridge. But uh, there's about 10 of us, including like interns and like uh, some fractional people that we employ. Well, we are really delighted to have you on the show today, uh, uh, Brian Scott, who is the CEO of Pit Moss, a, a company that says it grows things bigger and better without peat, but with recycled paper products. Thank you so much for being with us, Brian. We appreciate it. Thanks for having us. And thank you for watching this edition of the Sunday Business Page. If you have a suggestion for a guest, just get in touch with me at jdelano at kdka.com. Have a great Sunday and a happy 4th of July weekend.